allow me to express my sincere gratitude and that of all South Africans to Archbishop Desmond Tutu for a lifetime that has been spent in the service of peace, understanding, and social justice. Throughout his life, the Arch has been a soldier for peace. While we stand, or we tend to speak about peace as a condition between nations or across a society as a whole, we often do not pay attention to peace in individual communities and in the lives of the individual citizen who make up such communities. In this regard, I want to express appreciation and gratitude for the Desmond and Leatutu Legacy Foundation for the work, excellent work, that it continues to do amongst ordinary people to secure peace in communities that are affected by many social ills, especially criminal violence. In honor of the outstanding work that Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu has contributed in raising our consciousness as a people and as a nation about peace. We should develop what I would call a doctrine of peace that should guide us so that we can acquire and give full meaning to what peace should really mean in our own country and indeed in the world. Peace should be about justice and fairness. And that is part of the doctrine of peace that I suggest. Peace should be about respecting the human rights of every human being. Peace should be about equal opportunity to develop as a human being. Peace should be about work, yes, work. It should also be about ensuring that there is work and fair wages for those who work. Peace should be about bringing an end to poverty, to hunger and inequality. Peace should also be about ensuring that there is housing for all, that there will be peace when there is universal health coverage for all. It should also be about the guns of war being silenced for good and forever. In the end, peace should be our goal, just as it has been a lifelong goal to the Arch. Archbishop Desmond Tutu made peace his main mission in life, and he made it his goal. And this, too, should translate to us. We should make it our goal.